Last time on Minecraft High School. It was our class's turn to take care of the school hamster, so Treyaris and I volunteered to take care of him. We took him out for a walk around the school and then fed him. Well, Treyaris did and fed him way too much. Firstly, the hamster ended up 10 times his normal size and we had to help him lose the weight after school. We're really getting into a lot more trouble recently, so it's time to start studying hard and following the rules in more Minecraft High School. Ah, uh, Jairus, I'm gonna win the race again. You're always too slow, quick shortcut, and yes! Oh man, I always beat you to school. Uh, you know what? That's probably true. Your legs are pretty tiny. Look at those things. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to school. Hello, Headmaster. How are you doing this morning? Hello there, Dan and Jairus. Good job on getting Percy the hamster back down to normal weight. However, we've got a bigger problem. Well, um, thanks. I'm glad Percy's back to normal. Um, but... But what's the bigger problem? What happened? The school had a break-in overnight? What? How? Well, the school grounds are usually left open as there isn't really a good way to lock it all up. But all of the buildings are locked up until the morning. Turns out someone wanted to explore a little bit more and stole one of our oldest school treasures from the history classroom. What did they even steal? It was the bronze school mascot statue that was kept on the desk of historian Gavin. The statue marks the opening of the school over 50 years ago. It's really old, really dusty, and he came in this morning to set up his class and spotted that it was gone. Was there any way we can help? It sounds like it's really valuable. Uh, we've currently got the police working on it, so it's best not to get in their way. However, due to this, we've cancelled the first couple of classes for the day until the statue is found. Go and enjoy the free time, and I'll see you later on. Wow, Charles, did you hear that? That's crazy. Ah. Were you... Were you not even listening? Oh, oh geez, look, come over here and then I will tell you. Um, thank you, Headmaster. Right, so the school was broken into last night while no one else was here. That's crazy, right? Oh. Yeah, I know. So if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I reckon we can solve this case. It's no secret that we haven't been the best students since we've got here. So if we find the statue and solve the case, we might be able to redeem ourselves. Come on, Traoris, let's go. Ah. Hmm, it looks like there's a police chief over here, because this is the block where the history class is. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Hello there. I'm afraid I can't allow access to this area at this current time. We've got an investigation going on, and all of the evidence needs to stay protected. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay, um, that stops us in our tracks, but I've got an idea, Travis. You ready? Ah. Come on then, buddy, because around this corner, I think we can get a pretty good look at the history room, but, um... We might need some help with this case. So Jason, Luna, how you doing, guys? Hey, you heard about the break-in? I certainly have. We're on the case. It's crazy, right? I wonder who took it. Well, we're going to catch them because we need to redeem ourselves a little bit around here. Um, oh, you are? That sounds cool to me. You in, Luna? That's right, Luna. Are you in? Um, I don't know. It sounds a little bit risky. The police should be able to cover it, right? Well, to be honest, Luna, it looks like they've only got one person on the case. And they don't seem to be doing much, so it can't hurt to help, right? That's true. Okay, as long as we don't get into trouble, then I'm in too. Awesome! Let's do this! Hmm, so by my calculations, I think we should be able to see around... Yeah, here, look! We can see right into the classroom. Look, there's a police officer and... Who else is in there? Historian Gavin. And it looks like the police officer is using a magnifying glass to collect the evidence. Wait a second. I think I might have one of those. Let me check my backpack a second. I've got a pencil book. What's this? Oh, no. Homework? I forgot to do the homework. Oh, no. It's a good job the first two lessons were cancelled. Oh, man. Paper aeroplane book. And yeah, there we go. Magnifying glass. Let me just pick this up. And let's go and look for some evidence. Come on, guys. Let's do this together. More eyes are better than one. What's this? Guys, come and check this out. This looks amazing. Right, we've got... I think this is evidence. I definitely think this is evidence. We've got two iron bars. We've got a steel pickaxe and two little bits of glass. <gasps> Guys, I think we've found the escape and entrance route. They must have used a steel pickaxe because it's slightly used to mine through the iron bars and the glass when no one was here. This explains it, but now 
We don't really know where to go. Unless this is a clue. What is this stuff on the floor? What are these lines? Anyone got any ideas? Looks like dust. Dust? Why would there be dust here? The statue marks the opening of the school over 50 years ago. It's really old, really dusty, and he came in this morning to set up his class and spotted that it was gone. That's it. Luna, you were right. The dust must be a trail from whoever's carrying the statue. Luna, you're a genius. Haha, <laughs> thanks. That means that we should just be able to follow a trail of dust and that will lead us straight to whoever took it. That's exactly right. However, this dust is going to be extremely hard to spot, especially on these cobbles. So it's a good job I got my magnifying glass, guys. Let's look for some dust. Hmm. Ah, look. We've got some right down here. It's this way. Come on, guys. So now that we know the statue was taken this way, maybe we should start asking some questions. You, excuse me, do you know anything about the missing statue today? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you sure? Yes, I'm just happy that I've got an extra hour or so to do the homework that I forgot about. You know what? Me too. Me too. You can be on your way. Do not worry. Juris, leave him alone. He hasn't got anything to say. Right. We're still on the lookout for some more dust. Haven't seen any yet. Ah, check it out. Look, there's more here. And it looks like it might go straight into block D. Guys, I've got a hunch. I think I might know where the statue is. And I think I know who's got it. I'm going to have to go into block D, okay? Want me to come with you? Um, no, Jason, it's okay. I need you guys to keep watch because technically we're not supposed to be investigating this at all. And just in case the police come around, I don't want to get into more trouble. So I need you guys to keep watch, please. Okay, we'll keep watch. Be careful, guys. I'll be as careful as I can. Don't worry. I won't be long, guys. But if I'm not out in 10 minutes, then come looking for me. Please say that my hunch is right. Because it looks like the doors have been left open. Now we need to head this way and head into the out-of-bounds classroom. Yes, this is looking good. So everything is open. So the person who came through here must have been in a hurry. Because they've left tons of evidence behind. Right. Let's go down this shaft. Uh, ah, yep, looks like it. This is dust. Exactly as I thought. Looks like there's quite a big trail of it. Man, that statue must have been super dusty. But luckily, it's made this case really, really easy. I don't know how the police haven't found it yet. And if I'm correct, then yep, this should lead me right to... Neve. It was you. We need to have some words, Neve. What are you doing in that statue? You again. I knew you'd be back. You better be alone. I am. But why do you have the statue? Oh, this? I found this on the floor. I wouldn't normally take it, but the rarity and history behind this was too great not to experiment on. Wait. What experiment? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Sometimes you never know the true history behind an item until you perform a certain spell. Wait. This is getting too confusing. So, did you steal the statue? What? No, of course not. However, you might want to look behind block A. Then you'll find your answer. Well, okay, we'll look behind there, but I'm going to need to take the statue from you. It's very important to the school, and we need to show the headmaster where it is. Fine, I'm done with it anyway. It's interesting the secrets this school has hidden away. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Before I give you the statue, though, repeat these words with me. Bubble... Boil, and BOOM! Oh, what on earth happened? Jeez, that explosion blasted me into the corner. Neve, what are you playing at? Oh, and this is a statue. Is this the right one? Yes. Oh my goodness, we finally got the statue back. What on earth happened? Haha, <laughs> sorry about that. As I said, I'm done with this statue. Thanks for taking it off my hands. And remember, don't say a word about this place. Okay, your secret safe with me. But no more crazy experiments, okay? Thanks, Neve. Now I've got this. Time to show the guys. Guys! Guys, I've got the statue. Check it out. Uh, guys? Where have they all gone? I told them to keep watch. Wait a second. Is that them over there? Ah, there you are, guys. Jeez. Why did you guys leave? What's going on? While you're in block D, the police found the person who stole the statue behind block A. No way. That's exactly as Neve said. It was Brad! 
No way! <laughs> Turns out he was trying to hide it up a tree when he fell and bumped his head. Next thing he knows, the statue isn't there and the police are picking him up off the floor. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, I found the statue. You did? You better tell the headmaster quick. Is the headmaster here? Oh, there he is. Oh, jeez, look, Brad. Oh, my goodness, headmaster. Move along, please, Dan. Nothing to see here. But, sir, I found the statue. You have? We'll hand it over then. We need to keep that as safe as possible. Here you go. You can just take it. <laughs> wow, spare me the details of where you found it until later. Brad has already confessed his crime. Well, it wasn't too far from here. Someone picked it up by accident, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic. Well, in the beginning, I said not to investigate this and leave it to the police. Oh, no. Um, am I in trouble again? Haha, <laughs> no, quite the opposite. Well done on finding the statue. If it wasn't for you, we may have never found it. Have an extended break for today. Good work, guys. Oh my goodness, Headmaster, thank you so much. Treros, this is another great day. So there you go. Brad was finally called for something other than bullying this time, and we finally found out where the statue is. Neve is still a strange one as always, but what were those school secrets she was talking about? Maybe we'll find out soon. Anyway, now that we're in the Headmaster's good books, things are finally looking up at Minecraft High School.